guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be learning how to make this bikini top it has a drawstring at the base and daisy flower details on it and let's get into the video and see how this is made um for this project you will need two colors of your choice so i'll be using blue and then white for my flower then uh i'll also be using a four millimeter crochet hook a dunning needle to weave in my ends, a pair of scissors, and then the other thing that is optional, I have some nylon thread here, you can see it's very transparent, and this is what I'm going to be using to attach my flower onto the top. I don't want to have um, a little bit of disorganization when I'm attaching the flower onto the top, so we're going to start off by making the bra cups. And my bra cups are going to be in this color blue. So you're going to grab your yarn. This is a four ply acrylic yarn. It's called Winter King. So you're going to make a slip knot. Just press it over like this. And then yarn over, pull through, and keep holding and yarn over pull through so you're going to pull this so this is my slip knot you can see it's adjustable it keeps moving and now you're going to make a chain that is long enough to cover from your nipple down to the base of your breast so for me that is 16 chains so so far I have four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so after my sixteen chains uh you're going to go into the second chain from the hook so not this one but this one and you're going to make a single crochet and then single crochet into the next chain and single crochet all the way down going into each and every chain with one single crochet until you reach the second last chain and if you guys would like a more detailed version of how to make a bra cup with single crochets please check out the link on the screen i have a more detailed video especially for beginners So I'm placing a single crochet in my second last chain and into the last chain, which is this one, you're going to place a total of three single crochets. So this is one, two, and three. And I forgot to mention that you needed a stitch marker, but I have mine here. So after placing your three single crochets in that very last chain, you're going to place a stitch marker into the middle stitch of the three single crochets. Place a stitch marker into the middle stitch. And then now we are going to turn our work to the back side and we are going to work all the way down. So I'm holding my tail so that I work over it as I go this side. So after my three single crochets, I'm going to continue to place one single crochet into each and every chain, but weaving in the tail as well. So a single crochet, I grab the chain as well as the tail here. And then a, a single crochet. So you're going to continue doing that all the way down until you get to the base of the bra cup. The first stroke can really get intimidating, but the next strokes become easier with time. So you can see I'm weaving in the tail and at this point we no longer have a tail at the back. 
So continue to do that all the way to the base of the bra cup. So I have my first row finished. It came from this side all the way around to the base. So uh, we're going to row two and for row two you're going to chain one, turn your work and you're going to go into the very first uh, single crochet. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So you single crochet into the first single crochet and continue to single crochet until the stitch before um, the stitch marker. So you're placing one single crochet into each and every stitch until you get to the stitch before the stitch marker. So this is the stitch before the one with the stitch marker and it will get one single crochet and now you're going to remove your stitch marker from the next stitch and then into that very stitch that had the stitch marker you're going to place three single crochets one two and three all in the same chain and then you are going to replace the stitch marker into the new row so into the middle stitch of the three single crochets you're going to place your stitch marker there and then continue to place only one single crochet into each of the following single crochets all the way down to the base of your bra cup So the only difference is at the top of your bra cup where we place three single crochets into the middle stitch. Everything else remains the same. You're only placing one single crochet into each stitch. And with time, you'll notice that your bra cup is growing and creating more coverage for you. So after this, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to repeat row two. So don't forget to always go into the very first stitch here with one single crochet and all the way up until you get to the stitch before the one with a stitch marker so the thing I love about uh, single crochet bra cups is that they're not too transparent and the stitches don't really open up so you can literally wear it without aligning as compared to double crochets so after this you're going to remove your stitch marker place a total of three single crochets and then replace the stitch marker into the middle stitch of the three single crochets and go all the way down with one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches. So row three is the same exact as row two and we are going to repeat this row until our bra cup builds up and creates enough coverage for our bust. So you're going to just repeat this and if you're making it for yourself well and good, you're going to just continue to work this until um, the bra cup is big enough to cover your breast. So you're going to go back and forth, back and forth. We don't tamper with the base of the bra cup because we want to keep it straight. Um, all the work is from here to this side and from this side to this side. So continue working and I'll let you know how many rows that I did for my size, which is a, between a small to medium. So after making your rows that you need, I did a total of 13 rows all together to get um, the size for a medium. So I did 13 rows and after that you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. 
So you're going to just go ahead and make as many rows as you need to find the good coverage for your bust. So after this, you're going to make the same exact piece. I've already done mine. And you should have two identical bra cups. So after this, you have your two bra cups ready. You're going to make a very long chain. So I did a total of 200 chains and now you're going to grab your dining needle and you're going to put this string through. that and you're going to make sure that your bra cups are on the right side so so what you're going to do is to go across the bottom of the bra cups going in and out so I'll start from this side I'm just going in and out of stitches in and out of different rows Just don't skip so many stitches. They're just small gaps in between. And then you're going to pull on this darning needle. The, uh, the chain is a little bit thick, that's why we are struggling to pull it through, but it eventually goes through. And then continue all the way across until you come to the end. So this is what we have. And then you're going to cross over to this side and do the same exact thing. Till the end and then you'll have two strings on the side of your two bra cups it's already forming a bikini top and from here we are going to just make simple chains that run up the ones that are going to tie behind the neck so you're going to grab your yarn make a slip knot and then attach into the middle stitch here. And then you're going to single crochet into the same stitch just to secure our yarn. Like that. And then you're going to make a simple chain of 120. So we have one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and make 120 chains. I have my 120 chains on one side and I'll cut my yarn and fasten off and we are going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this side so make a slip knot attach into the middle stitch single crochet and make a chain of 120 So with both your chains ready, I've just tied a knot here and I'm going to snip off all these strands. You can go ahead and place tassels or shells or whatever you want to place on uh, your straps, but I'm not going to do that. 
I'm going to just cut off these ends and you can click on the link on the screen to learn how to make tassels and then after that you're going to get your dunning needle and weave in all your ends we have some ends to weave in here and here and on the straps so you're just going to go ahead and go into a few stitches back and forth and get rid of all these strands my dunning needle is a little bit big and it's going to create big holes here so I will have to use a small hook just go into a few stitches and pull this uh, strand through like that so this is the other alternative for those people who don't have dunning needles you can just use a smaller hook that's not going to create big holes and after this you cut your yarn you have finished securing it and you're going to do that for all these strands that are lying around And this method is also good for those people who have very short strands now like this one it would be very short for a dunning needle so this is the other alternative to deal with such uh, strands this is my very last one Make sure you weave in your ends on the wrong side of your work, not on the right side. So I try my best to always go into the wrong side so that uh, the effect doesn't show on the right side of my work. So after cutting this, you now have a clean and neat bikini top. The next thing that you're going to do is to place flowers onto the middle section of the bikini top of the bra cups so let me zoom in a bit so i already have a video that's dedicated to how to make um, the daisy flowers and you can click on the link on the screen and it will take you straight to making that daisy flower and then you'll come back to this video when you have the flowers ready so now that you have your two flowers ready, we'll only need two for this top. One on one of the bra cups and the other on the other bra cup. So uh, we're going to introduce our dunning needle, which is this one, and then the nylon thread that I talked to you about in the beginning of the video. And we're going to get very little of this. Make sure you have enough to work on the complete flower while attaching it. We don't want to reattach all over again. So when you have the length that you want, you're going to cut. I know it's almost invisible, but I'll try my best to show it on camera. So this is the thread, the nylon string, and you're going to put it through the dunning needle. If you feel like it's going to disturb you so much, you can even go ahead and make a knot so that it doesn't keep pulling out of the dunning needle. So I'm going to make a double knot on it. That's one. And then the second one. It's really hard to work with this thread, but I feel like it's the best uh, option for such a situation where you don't want uh, colors to pass through your project. So I've tied a knot here on the dunning needle. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is to start 
joining the flowers onto the bra cup so I don't even have to go behind because this is almost invisible so I'll just decide where I want to place this flower and I'll place it at the top of the very first row somewhere around there that's where I'll put the middle section and then I'll just keep attaching the petals so I'm going to go into the top and then into the stitches I'll leave a long strand here because we shall need it when we are winding up so I'm going to just press the flower onto onto the bra cup and then continue to attach the different stitches onto it the petals are already in their positions so all you have to do is to go into the stitches on top of the stitches so you can see that we've attached this part and now I'm going to go into the next petal I just go into the blue part and then into the white part so I'm just going to go around the flower doing the same exact thing There's really no magic involved and you can see this is also attached and we are finishing up the second petal so the second petal is finished and this is what it looks like it's attached but we don't have the destruction of the colors onto the edge so I'm going to continue doing this until we are done so the other thing that I wanted to point out is the knot on the dunning needle is helping us a lot not to pull through this strand because if you don't tie a knot, it's going to keep jumping out and then you're going to have to put it through all the time. So you have to consider that. So we're coming back to the last petal. Remember I started from the middle section and so I am going to just work on this half just like I've been doing before. So when you come to the to this part here the stitch that has the very first um, attachment I'm going to just go into it with several stitches just go in so many times about like five times and then You can tie a knot because now we have two strands there's this one on this side and then there's this one when you come to the beginning you'll have two strands then uh, you will just tie a knot but don't remove your dunning needle yet make sure the knot is tight enough because 
this thread is very slippery and after this uh, what you're going to do is to weave in this tail into several stitches you can choose where to go you can go into the blue or whatever color of your choice you can go into the white as well but I've chosen blue just go back and forth just like you weave in your ends when you're done with your crochet projects so that this doesn't undo itself and after this you're going to cut your yarn you're going to snip it off and then for this one you're going to do the same exact thing so that means we've cut off the yarn and this is no longer needed this knot is no longer needed so you cut it off and then we attach the second strand of yarn the one that we had left behind make a knot so that it doesn't disturb us after that we're going to just weave in this tail just going back and forth So at this point you can be sure that your flower is not going to fall off and the other thing is that it's very neat and when we come to the back side this is what we have that's how I've attached my flower I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the second one I actually think I placed it a little bit high but it's perfectly fine I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact process for this flower and then I'll be back to show you the final result. So this is how everything turned out. We are done with both the flowers. The back side of our top looks amazing as well. You can actually wear it like this if you don't want the flowers on. So it could be a two-way thing. And at this point, we are done with our bikini top. And I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in my next video when we are working on the bottom part of this uh, project. Bye.